Good morning, flowers, and welcome to the Morning Roar. He is Coach Rose. And she is Coach Carter. Today is Friday, February 19th. You are tuned in to another great Faculty Friday edition of the Morning Roar. Before we begin, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back. February is Black History Month, and we're here to honor Black heritage and give you use, news you can use. In celebration of Black History Month, we present our Black History Fact of the Day. Minister, civil rights activist, and politician, Adam Clayton Powell Jr. was born on November 29, 1908, in New Haven, Connecticut. His father, Adam Clayton Powell Sr., was also a minister and an activist and encouraged his son to follow his path. Adam Clayton Powell Jr. assisted his father at Abyssinian Baptist Church in Manhattan, New York. Both engaged in giving back to the community, conducting campaigns to feed the poor, and fighting for fair housing and better employment opportunities for Blacks. In 1944, he became the first Black congressman from New York to be elected into the House of Representatives. During his 12 terms, he endlessly fought for African American rights by protesting activities such as lynching in the South and Jim Crow laws. On April 4th, 1972, Powell died from cancer. Although he is no longer with us, his legacy still lives on. He has a statue in Harlem, New York, and has several schools named after him. Black History, the National Society of Black Engineers is hosting a Class and Culture Day, Friday, February 26. Students can dress in business or cultural attire. You must purchase a wristband to participate. Wristbands are $2 and are on sale during all lunches. Extra, extra. Read all about it. The latest edition of the Main Street Journal is still on sale. In this edition, read about the ISIS crisis, explore the benefits of community and college, and making the decision between PWIs and HBCUs. Get yours today for 50 cents. See Mrs. Coelho in room 211. Also, share your poetry and artwork in the next issue of the Main Street Journal. Submit your poetry and artwork to chfnews at pgcps.org for an opportunity to be featured. Include your name, grade level, and the name of your poem or art piece. All submissions must be appropriate. Work must be submitted by February 19th. That's today, guys. Do you need a tutor? Students of the ROTC Kitty Hawk Honor Society are now available for tutoring. Tutoring is held on Mondays and Thursdays from 2.35 to 3.35 in room 1124. Speaking of tutoring, Dr. Malone and the math department are offering free math tutoring, free math tutoring every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2.30 to 4.30 in the library. In sports news, the cheerleaders will host a cheer competition this evening at 6 o'clock p.m. in the Jaguar Gym. Go Jags! The wrestling team will compete in the county championship at Oxon Hill today at 4 o'clock p.m. and tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. Also, if you need student service hours and would like to be a part of the team, the unified track team wants you. Attend the interest meeting on Tuesday, February 23rd at 3 p.m. in room 106. In today's Senior Center, seniors, the Mid-Atlantic Fundraiser is your last opportunity to bring prom prices down, sell 30 items, and win a free prom ticket. All orders and money are due Monday, February 29th. Seniors, mark your calendars for these important dates. The Parent Appreciation Breakfast is April 10th at 9 a.m. at the Grand Hyatt in Washington, D.C. Senior Signing Day is April 29th at 8.30 a.m. in the gym. Your senior prom is May 14th at 8, from 8 p.m. to midnight at the Grand Hyatt. And finally, graduation is June 3rd 
at 9 a.m. at the Xfinity Center at the University of Maryland College Park. In today's College Corner, Flowers will host a FAFSA night on Monday, February 22nd at 6 o'clock, I'm sorry, 6.30 in the cafeteria. Your parents need to bring tax documents and pay stubs so they can complete the FAFSA form online. Assistance will be provided. Dominion University will be here doing on-site admissions on February 24th at 8.30 a.m. Please sign up in guidance. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority provides scholarships for Prince George's County students. You must have a 3.0 cumulative GPA, been accepted to an accredited college or university, and attend college full-time in the fall. Deadline to apply is February 29th. Go to www.zetaspgcounty.org forward slash scholarships. Want to get accepted to college on the spot? Want your application fees waived? Then you don't want to miss the Black College Expo, Saturday, March 5th at Bowie State University. Learn about financial aid and student athlete recruitment. Visit www.thecollegeexpo.com. Attention 9th and 10th graders. It's never too early to start thinking about college. The Prince George's chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority sponsoring, is sponsoring overnight HBCU tour, March 29th and 30th. Visit five schools in two days. Go to pgcacdst.org to download an application. The National Society of Black Engineers, NSBE, is offering the Future Innovator Scholarship application. For graduating high school seniors who will major in engineering, computer science, mathematics, or in applied science, the deadline is March 1st. Visit nsbedc.org to apply. And now we've come to the last segment of our show, the SAT Word of the Day. The SAT Word of the Day is chastise to subject to punitive measures. The administrator was forced to chastise the students who constantly violated the uniform policy by placing them in in-school suspension. That concludes this edition of the Morning Roar. Have a great day and remember, be great by choice. <laughs>